Hello, and welcome to the Penguin Prof channel. This is part of my college success series. I want to talk about how to take great notes in class. So some of my note-taking strategies today, we're going to look at Microsoft OneNote and specifically how to incorporate your own notes with materials provided by your professor, which is very common, as well as some other tips and tricks. Before we get to it, I got to ask for your support. Please take a second and click those buttons below. Another thing you can do to support the Penguin Prof is check out Audible. Click the link below and download a free audiobook of your choice. I just finished What the F? What Swearing Reveals About Our Language, Our Brains, and Ourselves. I thought it was fascinating. You might too. But there are hundreds of thousands of books to choose from. So the goals when you are thinking about note taking, you want to think about keeping things all in one place, be able to access on all your devices, everything should be synced, you should be able to combine your own materials with what your professor gives you, and you should be able to edit photos and PDFs and so forth. Guys, please think about the future. You will need to look back at these class notes. I guarantee it. As you progress to graduate school or in the medical field, you will need to look back on this stuff. And the better your notes are now, trust me, the more effective your retrieval is going to be in the future. I want to show you today what Microsoft OneNote looks like on the desktop as well as on my tablet. Um, but there are other good options for you to use. GoodNotes is pretty popular. It's iOS only as of now, and it's not free. Um, Evernote, I, I can't live without Evernote. I don't take notes with it, uh, but I use it for everything else. But many of my students love it. There's a free version. There's a premium version. And some of my students also use SimpleNote. Um, the software essentials include easy syncs and backups, an organization scheme that makes sense to you, and like I said, being able to edit documents, PDFs, photos, etc. Now my personal choices, this is not sponsored, I wish. I use an enormous 27-inch iMac, I got that basically for video editing, and in class I use an also enormous 12.7-inch iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil, which is the best stylus I have ever used. And now it's time for a demo. Let's check this out. So I'm looking at OneNote on my desktop and you can see my notebooks here and then I have pages within each notebook. I always keep a general class page as well. Um, but I select the page that I want and now we're going to see how to import your instructor's notes. So on my web pages for my students, I give the material in three different formats, as a grid, a handout, or the slides, depending upon how students want to use them. If your instructor doesn't do that, pretty much from any software, you can select how to print various pages. And I like to use the handout format, um, either three or four slides per page. I like three, actually. Save it as a PDF. Um, and that's it. Now, from my students on my web page, just select handout, and this is what it looks like. So each slide has um, lines next to it. I really like this. And then just go ahead and select download and save to your computer. And from here, we're going to import that into OneNote, and this is what it looks like. So now just drag the file into the page where you want it to go. Select Import Printout, um, and that way it'll set up as like the background for the page. I like to just delete the file that shows up at the top, and this is what it looks like. And now you're ready to go. So every slide has room next to it for you to take notes in class. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like on my iPad. This is how uh, I would want to access it during the class. Here are all of the pages and the notes I just imported. So I'm just showing you the, the home, all the different options of text. Here's the uh, insert uh, tab where you can insert photos and other documents from the cloud. There's lots of stuff to play with. I like to use draw. I stay in the draw format uh, during class because obviously that's what I want to be doing. I want to uh, draw on the notes that the instructor provides. Uh, I want to take notes on the side. I am using a stylus here, which is why it looks so good. But you could do it either with your finger or you could enter text uh, and type as well. 
Um, as you're going to see here, one of the things I also like is that there is a fluorescent marker that you can use. Uh, you can draw shapes. You can do all kinds of stuff. So now when you go back to your desktop, you can see how cool the notes look that you took in class. It looks so slick. Another really cool thing about OneNote is that you can incorporate photos. And I encourage my students in anatomy and physiology to take pictures of all of their models that we have in the lab. And so here I can incorporate incorporate and draw and label and I like now to connect the slides from lecture with the actual anatomical models that they have in class and another cool thing you can do is incorporate your ebooks now what I'm looking at here is the free textbook from my anatomy and physiology students and I can have that open at the same time and what I want to do now is insert a photo from the ebook. So here's an image of the nephron. And what I can do is expand that and then take a screenshot. And now I can open OneNote and then using that insert picture menu, I can select the photo that I just took. There's some privacy there. <laughs> and now I can crop it. So use that crop tool at the bottom. And using my fingers, you just really quickly slide it in so it's the right shape that you want. And then click that little check mark, OK. And now it's going to insert into your document. And I can, of course, resize the whole thing right here. And now you can have your lecture notes, your anatomy models, and your textbook images all in one place. And in case you're wondering, I know you were, this is what OneNote looks like on my iPhone. So here you can select your notebooks and the notes. Here's what we just imported. And it looks absolutely fabulous. Um, I wouldn't necessarily create notes on my phone, but in terms of being able to study and have everything in my purse or pocket at all times, you just can't beat it. As always, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for visiting the Penguin Prof channel. Please show your support by clicking those buttons below. Like, share, and subscribe. Join me on Facebook. Follow on Twitter. Good luck.